So now let's look at how we're gonna handle rotational motion. And rotational motion is a lot trickier to handle. Now, technically, you could handle it. So when we mean by rotational motion, we think about, imagine you have like a wheel here and it's spinning, okay? It's a solid wheel, keep it really simple. It's spinning at a rate, like it's spinning around and around, something like this. It's spinning around and around and around. Now, here's the tricky thing. You could analyze this with all linear motion, but here's the difficult part. A lot of times we analyze the speed. Well, if you look at each piece, right, as it's spinning around, each piece is moving at a different speed. The ones near the edges are moving a lot faster than the ones leaning here because they're gonna be moving in a circle like this, okay? And so um, the ones on the edge, and you, have you ever been on like a carousel or a merry-go-round? On the edge, you're going to move a lot faster. So in terms of the speed, every little piece has a different speed depending on how far away you are. So that means things like kinetic energy or linear kinematics. It is circular motion, so you could try to analyze it with circular motion.